What's up guys, it's Ricardo, JunkGuysDFW.net and today it is a training tip. So usually people see me uh, removing a lot of awkward things such as hot tubs, pianos, grand pianos, water heaters, couches, but today I'm going to remove something, and I, you know what, y'all have even seen me remove jet skis, but today we're removing a boat. And I'm going to talk to you about how to properly remove a boat. And that really depends on your trailer size. So I have numerous trailers to my fleet. I have landscape trailers. I have enclosed trailers. I have mini dumpster trailers. And I also have a flatbed trailer. Which is the best trailer to use if you're removing a boat? Well, easily I'm going to tell you. It's going to be a, land, a, a flatbed trailer. That's what you would use to actually remove a boat. So we've actually removed small boats from like little canoes to little fishing boats that are 12 foot long to big boats that are 16 foot long. This will actually be our first boat that we move that's over 16 feet. It is actually 22 foot long. And we will be removing this boat by actually cutting off about five feet from this boat and put it on a flatbed trailer. The last time that we did a boat removal, we just pushed it on to a flatbed trailer, brought it to the property, and we chopped it up in about a few weeks. We would, you know, spend about an hour a day on it, and then eventually, piece by piece, we pieced it out and took it to the land pole. We didn't need a title or anything for that. So this is how we remove a bow, guys. We actually don't care if it has a title or not, because. 99.9 .9 of boats are made of fiberglass and when we do these boats like this it doesn't matter to us so, you know we know that the person who has it at their house if it's big enough to be in your house it's big enough for us to remove so that's how we look at it but honestly 100 percent of the time these boats are like 1970 and down so it doesn't really matter to us so what kind of tools do we use? Well, there's a few things that we do take with us when we remove a boat. Um, and those are straps. We always take straps with us. These big old straps that you use uh, for, you know, hauling metal and stuff, the ones that click, you know. We take about three of those straps uh, when we're doing a boat removal. And the reason is, because when we get the boat onto the trailer, the flatbed trailer, we strap it down. Now, most of these boats are not gonna be on a boat trailer. That's another thing you have to realize. So another tool that we use is a come along. So those, these are these things that you crank and you hook it somewhere, it has a hook on the end of it. So it's a come along and you, you would hook that and it, it pulls so much weight on it. So it, it has a chain on one end and a cable on the other end. So that on the end of the cable, it hooks onto something and then you can just click, click, crank it up and then haul that and it pulls anything, just about, about 2,000 pounds of weight it can do. These things are very, very useful. You can buy these almost anywhere. They're, they cost like from 100 to $150. Um, the ones that you need, you know, you, all you need is something that will pull about a ton. So we use a come along, we use these straps, and we also use a carbide blade with a saw saw. Well, a saw saw with a carbide blade. And we use that to cut the boat in edges or anywhere where the boat's giving us trouble, we just cut that part off because it's made of fiberglass, just like a hot tub. You would use a carbide blade with the with, a saw saw with a carbide blade to cut a um, hot tub so we would use the same tool to cut cut uh, to cut a boat don't back down from big jobs like this because i would consider a boat removal a big job but don't back down from these jobs these jobs are possible trust me when someone first called me to remove a boat i was like uh how she told me it was on a trailer and i was like oh this is easy so i went to the store i bought tires this threw them on the trailer and then well i brought it home and that was it and that was a $600 job as a matter of fact we did a video about that uh, boat trailer um, when we actually removed it and we hauled it back to our property I did a video of that now about a few weeks ago about two weeks ago we had a 16 foot boat that we had to remove that was up on blocks so it was not on a trailer at all it wasn't on a boat trailer with wheels or anything so we had to had to actually grab this boat and we moved this boat and put it on a flatbed but how do we do that well it was on blocks so we scooted the you know the boat was right here and it was on blocks and was sitting high so we just scooted a trailer right next to it used to come along bend it and it just fell into our trailer so it was an easy really easy removal for us to drop it into the trailer and then we put three straps on it one on the front one in the middle and one in the back and we hauled it off but this boat that we're doing actually on friday is going to be a 22 foot boat i don't know how long that is yet but i know it's about five foot longer than the well 
the flatbed trailer that I have. But you know what, to us it doesn't matter. We'll cut off those extra five feet with the saw saw. Spend about two hours later and we're charging $1,500 for this. So it'll be a good day's work for us. And we've only scheduled that one job for Friday because honestly, in the next few days, we're gonna be picking up some trailers that we just recently purchased. But guys, don't back down from big jobs like this. If you're going to do a boat, it doesn't really matter if it has a title or not a title because regardless you're going to have to cut it to get rid of it so there you go guys i hope y'all use this training tip to remove bigger things and boats but that's honestly the biggest thing we've ever removed is a big boat so with that i'm going to leave y'all and i appreciate for y'all watching these videos and don't forget guys if you like these videos subscribe over there to the right side on the left side check out my other videos and i will talk to y'all later thank you so much gopro stop recording